Hello and welcome back again to my channel. It is your homegirl, UCHE in the crib. And today I decided to talk about this issue of relationship, the things I have learned in relationship as someone who is a social butterfly. Well, I think I'm retracting back into my shell, but anyway, these are the things I've learned and these are the things I wanna share with you guys. This video will be highly useful to you. Um, as a young adult and even if you advance in age and experience I feel like it's never too late to learn it's never too late to unlearn and it's never too late to relearn learning is a process of life and until you die you should always be learning something so with that being said we're going to take our intro and when I return I'm going to talk about the five things I've learned about relationships <laughs> Welcome back again thank you for staying up to this time so if you're still here please just consider subscribing to my channel turn on the post notification like comment and share this video so with that being said the number one thing I would say is do not force a relationship do not try to force a connection there are people who are not attracted to this doesn't necessarily mean they are bad people or we are bad people it just means that we are not alike and we're not just connecting basically i mean i've seen people try to force relationship probably because they feel like this person you know is this or that if you ever attended secondary school or high school you will agree with me that there are some sorts of people or this clique of people that you know that they are the popular people you just feel like you love their lifestyle and you definitely just want to be friends with them there are people who think the way you think don't try to enter a relationship because you feel you're less than this person so you need the validation of this person or you need to be friends with this person to actually be complete as a human being or to be accepted the truth is that there are people you're going to connect to and there are people that you will never connect to no matter how much you try to force it sooner or later you will realize that that person is not right for you that person is toxic to you and you guys just need to go your separate way my mom usually tell me that there are people you should never meet in this life there are people who are going to be toxic to you the truth is that when we meet those set of persons we don't click with we have this intuition to know majority of the time we know but we try to convince ourselves let's try let's try and at the end of the day you see that it's not just working so don't try to force a connection with anybody it's not worth it if we connect we connect if i vibe with you fine if i don't it's part of life no grudges no beef we're not just compatible and that is it so be comfortable enough to know that you're not supposed to be in a relationship with everybody. Everybody shouldn't be your friend. The best set of relationship are the relationships that are not forced. They just naturally happen. There are people who I've known like for years and I call them acquaintance because I don't know, but I just feel like we don't just connect. Sometimes it could be on, on a spiritual level. Sometimes it could be on a mental level. Sometimes it could be on an emotional level. You're not just emotionally attracted to this person. You're not mentally attracted to this person you don't find this person physically attractive it could be whatever situation it is don't try to force a connection the second thing i would say is honesty honesty goes with integrity integrity goes with a good name period please this is for guys and for girls for both genders i've had situations whereby a guy approaches me because he finds me attractive and he goes ahead to basically lie about the fundamental stuff. You can't lie about your age. Even the littlest things he will try to lie about. 
you know, where he's from, his finances, tries to lie about all those important stuff. There's stuff that you can't be lying about. Do you get what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to say do not put your best foot forward. I'm only trying to say make sure that foot you're putting forward is actually your own foot. That, that's what I'm trying to say. So please and please, honesty is very attractive. The truth remains that honesty is very attractive. And unfortunately, it is rare to find in the country and the society we live in. I mean, go on social media. The biggest lies are told on social media. Trust, I've learned over the years what honesty can fetch you and also what dishonesty can make you lose right being honest with who you are don't try to project who you are not you can only lie for so long the truth will always always catch up with you and when it does the consequences are going to be very grave i mean why are you faking see one man's food is another man's poison the truth is that nobody cares nobody flipping cares okay the people who you're trying to please the people who you're trying to you know appear a certain way to they don't care my dear they don't care all this advertisement of you know i am this i am that blah 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 nobody flipping cares let me tell you, nobody flipping cares. You're not that important. I'm sorry. You're, you're just not. <laughs> People have problems. Don't expect them. Yeah, they can talk about your matter for just like a minute or two. Or if you're very special, like three to four. And then they move about with their own life because they also have their own problems. You can lose meaningful relation that could have bettered even something more and something greater. But because of your dishonesty, you lost that. Be real, be real, be real, be real, be real. Ah, uh -uh, haba. Be real. <laughs> no matter how you are, someone out there will like you for who you are. Just be honest. Live your life part time. Don't try to live above your means. Don't try to borrow just to fit into someone else's um, world. It's not that. It's not that important. Now, this leads me to the next one do not compromise your values oh my god this is this cannot be overemphasized i've seen people lose themselves in their relationship and guess what the relationship doesn't have to be toxic for you to lose yourself even in a healthy relationship you need to remind yourself that there are things that are your core values i'm talking about your family your standard your career your goals your aspirations all those things are key and as a matter of fact these are things that could have made the person even attracted to you so you losing that quality in the name of friendship or in the name of love can be detrimental to your relationship not just to your relationship but to you as a person when you compromise all those things you tend to start having issues with self-worth with self-discovery this is why i say that you shouldn't be in a relationship be platonic or even a romantic relationship if you haven't first discovered yourself i'm not saying you should have a very wild knowledge of what you want to be but at least have an idea because when you have an idea of where you're going to this helps to shaping and pattern your life your actions and the way you see things and try as much as possible to know who you are first of all what is your what? What are your value systems? What are the standards you have set? And what are the boundaries you have set to make sure that these standards are not crossed? You need to be very careful because a lot of people, and I'm sorry to say, a lot of women lose yourself in relationships. You get, they start doing things that they ordinarily wouldn't do, but because of probably influence or because of trying to please the other person you start to compromise your standards you try to compromise your values no 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 this is a very important topic and i feel like a lot of people lose themselves literally lose themselves in a relationship sometimes in trying to keep the other person trying to in trying to save the friendship or save the relationship they try to you know bend to the other person's rules bend to the other person's standards let me use a university situation because that is what i can relate it with right now so you're in the university and you have told yourself that your books are your priorities right you've told you we, we should be your priorities because that's where you came that's like the primary 
reason for you being in school. And there are other people who they don't take the academics as serious. When you try to compromise going to lectures because you want to spend time with this person because you don't want the person to feel alone. No, no, no. As a matter of fact, friendship are meant to shaping or relationships should help you become better persons. So if you discover that being in this kind of relationship is making you to drift away from your goal, is making you to drift away from your purpose, you need to really analyze that relationship. Do you get me? So do not, I repeat, do not compromise your values. Do not compromise your standards. These are things that make the integral part of you. If you compromise that, you're going to lose yourself. I assure you. The fourth thing I would say is avoid comparison. See, in anything, in any area of your life, in fact, not just in friendship, life as a whole, try as much as possible to avoid comparison and i know it's hard so you need to remind yourself that uh uh-uh i'm going to be happy for my friend i'm going to celebrate your every win i'm going to be comfortable enough to say congratulations to you because i am your friend because i am in a relationship with you and because i want the best for you comparison is a joy stealer that moment when their wins intimidates you or makes you feel a certain way where you can't be happy for them you shouldn't be in a relationship if you can't be happy for someone or you shouldn't even be in a relationship with someone who is intimidated by your success who is intimidated by your progress who who doesn't want the best for you basically because if you can't celebrate my wins it means you don't you don't you don't love me enough i expect you as a friend to support me to celebrate with me to encourage me to be the best version of myself and if you cannot do that i feel like that relationship is going on a slippery slope at an alignment speed I'm talking about the things I learned about relationship. I need to be okay with my friend winning. I should be your biggest hype man. Come on, my friends, they know. I'm like the biggest hype man. When you're getting, I'm like, go for it, girl. Go for it. I'm that one person you can call even in the middle of the night. I'm still single, so yeah. And I feel like it should be both ways because you are in a relationship to make, you know, yourself better, to improve both of yourself it's not just one it shouldn't be just one-sided it should be the both persons or as many as the relationship can carry the last but not the least thing will be self-love what is self-love self-love is basically you being okay with the fact that you are not perfect do you get what i'm saying loving yourself to the point that you're willing to you know be the best version of yourself I feel like you can't be in a relationship if you don't love yourself because you end up wearing the other person out with your insecurity. I have learned in relationships that I have to love myself enough to know whether this person is good for me and also love myself to the point where I am okay with improving on myself, loving myself to the point where I deal with all the baggages I have before going into a relationship with someone. Loving myself is being committed to ensuring that I am the best version of myself. The best kind of relationship, a relationship where both persons have self-love for themselves. When they come together in a relationship, that relationship is beautiful because the both of them have committed themselves to, you know, working on themselves and also trying to be the best versions of themselves. So when they're coming together, they know exactly what they want and they're not afraid to, you know, be the best version of themselves. So with that being said, we have come to the end of this video. Please, if you do like contests like this, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.